Mike and Holly, the church shares your joy today and warmly welcomes you together with your families and friends. As today, in the presence of God our Father, you establish between yourselves a lifelong partnership. To start off with, I'd like to do a couple thank yous. Uh, one to Mike's parents, Marlo and Pat. They did an excellent uh, rehearsal dinner on Thursday night. Everybody had a good time. So I thank you for that. Uh, I can't forget about Mike. I'd like to welcome him to the family for the first time. Marriage is not 50-50. Marriage is 100-100. It takes 100% of everything you both have to continue to grow and support each other throughout the years to come. So let's all raise a glass to Michael and Holly. <laughs> May your love stay beautiful and last a lifetime. <laughs> to my groom on our wedding day. Oh, wow, she went a lot. <laughs> Michael, I can't believe it's finally our wedding day. It seems like we have been waiting for this day for so long. Now that it is finally here, I don't ever want to forget this feeling. The first time I met Holly, it was our freshman orientation. We quickly got to talking and hit it off. We lived together for four years post-grad. And when we took the next step to live with our significant others, Holly only moved a block away. <laughs> Two years later, when Mike and Holly decided to buy their first home, it just so happened to be in the town I grew up in. I think it's safe to say we have an invisible string that keeps us connected. Holly. There's something special about you. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, but you do. And, and you really do make my brother a better person. And, and I truly love you for that. I'm so excited for the future for you two, and uh, I just want to raise a glass. And cheers to you, Mike and Holly. Loving you has been the easiest thing I have ever done, and saying yes to marrying you is the best decision I ever made. I can't wait to grow with you, experience life together, and now raise a beautiful little girl with you. I love you so much, it's hard to even put into words. Holly, I am so grateful for our relationship and I often think how lucky I am for your love. You have brought me joy every single day during our relationship. I am your number one fan, and you have filled parts of me that I never knew I needed and helped me strive to be the best version of myself. I met Mike for the first time. We had dinner with him. They've been already going out for a couple months. And I think I was the last one to know. But Holly finally calls me up and says, Dad, we're gonna go out to dinner. I'm dating Mike, I'd like you to meet him. After that dinner, I knew right away that those two were gonna get married. I didn't have any doubts, but I'm just wondering what took Mike so long. <laughs> <laughs> to watch my best friend grow and take on life with Mike has been amazing. I've seen over the years how they have both learned from each other respected one another, and have created a beautiful life that is truly only the beginning for the both of them. The next chapter will be coming parents to a baby girl. And I have no doubt you'll both be absolutely incredible. I promise to always prioritize our love and our marriage and soon to be family. I promise to love you more and more as I always have and always will. Love, Michael. When I think of all, all of the memories we have created together over the last seven years, I can't help but smile. You truly are my best friend and soulmate, and I promise to spend my life making sure you know just that. You know just how loved and special you are to me. I can't wait to see you at the altar today and give you the world's biggest hug. I'm so ready to be your wife and have you as my husband. I love you, Michael. And yes, I love you more, always have and always will. Love, Holly, your soon-to-be wife.
Mike, do you take Holly to be your wife? Do you promise to be faithful to her in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love her and to honor her all the days of your life? I do. Holly, do you take Michael to be your husband? Do you promise to be faithful to him in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love him and to honor him all the days of your life? I do. May the Lord in his kindness strengthen the consent you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessing within you. What God joins together, let no one put asunder. Holly, receive this ring. Holly, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Perfect. Michael, receive this ring. Michael, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Friends, it's my honor and privilege for the first time in history to announce to you Mr. and Mrs. Michael and Harley McParlin. Mike, this time we may now kiss the bride. In the 